everyone so this is a bit of a different kind of vlog and i'm really really nervous but i have someone really special coming to my house today so i'm doing like a collaboration with them and it's john the food busker my children shouting in the background and he's coming with his team to set up in the garden and we're gonna do like some barbecuing and cooking and stuff so i'm really really excited but i'm also really really nervous so i've like whizzed around the house and everything's nice and tidy and we're good to go but yeah it's gonna be an exciting one so <sighs> wish me luck if i could i'd run down the moon and give that to So then we're just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Stars and sun all separated, rainbow colors newly painted. I put it all in a paper bag for you. Have a nice day, all the guns and all the angels. Got them waiting at your table. It's giving you my heart was not enough. One thing's true. What do you think it's worth? Because I want to impress you. you better, better say a good number. Yeah, like just two pounds. No, I would say I would probably pay about 12, no, 13 quid. 13 quid. Yeah. 13 quid. Yeah. And who are we taking this today? We're, well, I'd rather eat it all myself, but we're going to take it over to my family to give them a little taste. Okay. Are your family tight? Mm, my dad is. And my okay. brother is actually. It's five pounds. It's five pounds. Okay. Five pounds. Okay. Just <laughs> And who are you? Um, Charlotte. Yeah, and daughter. Yeah. Mom and dad. I'm a Ben Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Get involved, some dressing. Have a nice day, all the gods and all the angels got them waiting at your table. Was giving you my heart was not enough. So now I'm home and it's my turn and I'm going to be cooking a recipe from the Simply Beef and Lamb website so I will leave it down below if you want to follow it and recreate it yourself but it sounds amazing and it looks pretty easy too and it's certainly a nice way to sort of jazz up the barbecue because I'm guilty of just doing like sausages, burgers and chicken drumsticks and you know if I'm feeling quite fancy the occasional kebabs. So I'm really excited to get cracking and try this out and what I think I'm going to do is prepare it and give it to my mum and dad as well to take back with them because they have had Daisy for me today and I think they deserve a little treat so I bought them a bottle of wine each as well and then I'm going to send them back with all the ingredients and they can let me know how they found it as well so these are my gorgeous lamb steaks and they look amazing what i really like about them is that they're super lean there's not much fat on them at all so if you are like me where you've recently lost a lot of weight or you are dieting like doing slimming world and stuff like that then lamb steaks are a perfect choice for you because there's no fat on there whatsoever really so for four steaks i need four tablespoons of apple juice and then the same of, you can use either olive oil or rapeseed oil, the choice is up to you. Two garlic cloves. And then we need four teaspoons of whole grain mustard, or you could use Dijon instead if you wanted to. And then we just need to mix this all together and then let it marinate. So if you can marinate it overnight, then that would be best, but 20 minutes is your minimum. And then the recipe suggests that you serve it with a potato salad which has got pepper and rocket in with a mustard mayo which sounds really really good and then to serve with that as well we've got some green beans and some tender stem broccoli so it's a nice well-rounded dish and not too bad if you're dieting and doing summer world and things like that as well although you will have to watch out for the mayonnaise I 
up, up in a painted cup I will pour my love from a cloud above So bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up, up in a painted cup so, if I remember correctly from what John taught me, it's about four minutes on each side to get a medium lamb steak, but that will depend on the way you like your meat cooking, or, you know, the temperature of your grill or your barbecue. Ooh, that smoke. I believe to believe is to see how the present comes from dreams. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I will paraglide across the sky. Let flowers and tiny hearts shape in a line in the cup of ours. So sweet like a honeybee, can buzz around a honey tree. Up, up in a painted cup, I ride in the sky like a firefly. So Mark is home and he's just putting Daisy to bed and I am finishing off our lamb steaks and all of the things that are going to go with it. And one thing that I have done after I barbecued the steaks on the barbecue, I've let them rest and that makes a huge difference. This is something that I've always done anyway, but John also does this as well, is a massive fan of it and it means that your meat stays nice and juicy and tender and moist and it's not all tough like an old boot. So I'm just gonna slice the lamb steaks and then I'm gonna plate everything up. So here is the finished dish. We've got our lamb steaks here, which are nice and rosy pink in the middle, just the way we like them. And then this is a potato salad, which is essentially just new potatoes, some pepper chopped up, and some rocket with some mustard mayo. So you can buy mustard mayo in the shops if you just want to grab a jar of that. But if you also mix equal quantities of mustard and mayonnaise, you can use that instead. And then here we've got some green beans and some tender stem broccoli. And I've just got to hope that Mark enjoys it so as you can see it was really enjoyed by all and I'm really glad that I got to learn how to cook with lamb steaks because they're so so good and so versatile make sure you head on over to the food buskers challenge to see how we did with the recipe I would absolutely love it and hopefully see you over there